Morning everybody, Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off-Road Project. Um, didn't show you guys that when we finished this, we were working on this the other day on video and uh, never got back to you on the camera. But there it is, in the middle of the yard in front of the garden. Boy, the gnats are driving me insane. I don't know if you can see them. They're going into the eyeballs. I'm going to have to get my hat on. So forgive me for the shakiness of the camera if I'm shaking, but um, the birds these are the older baby birds are in the new pen this is a runway we made for the babies we're gonna start raising chickens for sale so um, this is gonna be a necessity to have little chicken tractors and the handles on the ends are very convenient Chris and I just walk this over and put the birds in there and they're really happy they're really enjoying it all the rain we got has helped the garden uh, this is the corn. Let me see if I can show you some. It's hard to see because I cut all those weeds the other day. Um, the corn is growing. I can't see my camera, so I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Um, the corn is growing right there in front of that. Right there. It's growing good, actually. Today it's poking up bigger and bigger. Oh, there's a big dragonfly on my neck back. So uh, that all poked out nicely. The rain helped a lot in uh, making the corn come up. Uh, this row is going to be just planted then. When the ground dries up enough, we'll plant that row extra. This row we've got, make sure I'm walking in the row. Uh, there's a uh, pumpkin come up. Somewhere around here there's another big one popped up. It's hard to see from this angle. Oh, here's one over here. The pumpkins are coming through. Just a couple here and there. Now over here we've got nothing here. There's some, uh, it looks like peas coming through here and there. And down here we've got some plants poking through. Peas or beans, I have to check the, the labels. And then here we've got definitely beans. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah, last night I checked these and they were not this big. So they're loving this moisture. So they're very good. These are coming out really well today. All of a sudden they're growing fast. So we're going to have a good garden as long as the worms don't eat them. But as fast as they're popping out today. Like I said they were just um, actually this morning. They were only like this this morning. And now they're, they're already poking out and growing so fast. I can't believe how fast they can grow. It's really mind-blowing. So that's our beans. By the end of the day I think we're gonna have a, a nice green looking garden. So yeah they're growing faster than the bugs can get to them this time. Unfortunately so are the weeds. This is bad. This is very very bad. So we've got work to do now, big time. The whole garden has become very green, very, very green overnight. And um, we're gonna have to clean all that up. Now here is some kind of a vegetable that grew from seed from last year. So I'm gonna wait and see what those are. Those little uh, things down in there. Oops, sorry, gnats are terrible. They go right in your eyes. They go in, they actually start digging in. And here we got onions growing. There's two rows of onions, I think, here. And then Melanie planted some herbs and some other plants, which, forgive me for not showing you up close, but I gotta get my hat on. But they're starting to grow. Hey everybody, we just uh, we got some barn wood out of the pile out back. I'm holding my back because I took a spill. Um, we're making a frame for the solar panels that's going to go up on the front of the shed and have an adjustable angle for the seasons. But Chris, tell me, people say I should drive a trailer out there or drive the truck out there? Or... Yeah, that's not going to work. How accessible is that by trailer? Not at all. Lawnmower? You're not getting lawnmower out there without the chainsaw. Yeah, we'd have to clear a big path to get to the wood pile. To where we're working. Sure, you could drive right up to the first wood pile, but the 2x4s are in the last wood pile, and there's no way 
Um, it's all it's like wet, soggy uh, from the rain. When it rains, it washes through that area, so you wouldn't get through there. And it's all uh, berries and thorn bushes on the other side of the woodpile, so you wouldn't get through there. So, I mean, tell them what you think. Yeah, there, there, there's no way you're getting the tractor back there. Well, a lot of work. It would take a couple days to clear the path to oh, get there. Oh, easily two, three days. Right? So we hand carted it all, and uh, it is how it is. And this is all wet and slippery. I took a spill from the top of the barn wood pile and somehow landed flat on my back. I think yeah. the, the, the rain had caused the crown to be soft enough. It helped. So anyway, we're making a frame. A lot of people will be happy to see that we're going to put the solar panels up so we don't yeah. hurt them, actually. They're going to go up on that shed. So we'll show you as we go here. Oh, hey. I was trying to suspend that and brace it and everything else. Oh, it was, it wasn't easy. Can you push in on this? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Oh, something's chewing at me. Ah. All right, push. No. All right, there. Oh. Nope. There. Happens. All right, ready? Yeah. Ready? Wait. Okay. Okay, thanks.
I use I was gonna use the framing nail, but I decided with all the torque that's gonna be on that from wind and everything, I use screws. Um, now I'm gonna put cross bracing on that too for to stop flex this way. And on the bottom lip, on the bottom I'm gonna put a lip on that all the way across. So when we get the solar panels up on there, they have something to rest on while we're working. It'll help a lot when we're assembling the solar panels on the frame up on the roof. Now you can see, if the wind isn't blocking me, my voice, the shed is partly in shade. The solar panels are still partly in shade due to these two trees right here. And these couple trees block the, uh, it's probably getting around 12 noon. So as I remove more trees, I'll get more sunlight on my panels. I got all the holes pre-drilled on the frame. I've got one leg on. And I basically I'm taking a big bolt, carriage bolt, push it through, put a washer. So I've got a lot of wood. Splinters of wood in there in a way. Get that out of the way. Put my washer. Put my leg. God. There we go. on there and now I've got the leg so uh, there's two legs Chris is stripping this is a pallet uh, frame so Chris is stripping another piece off for me and then uh, two more of them and we'll be ready to put that up on the wall of the shed let me show you that got a piece of tar paper up because we needed it anyway I didn't staple the bottom so that I can get another piece up under there later. Right now I just want to get that on there. Uh, might as well just do the tire paper today, but um, I want to get this uh, frame up here right away. So it's going to stand up in the air a little ways. But right now I'm going to put a piece of framework on which goes and is screwed into the studs of the shed itself. And then the frame of the solar panels will go onto that. We've got the one board up and we're getting another board prepared which will go up next. And that will be the frame that holds. Now that's, that's screwed into the stud. The studs. Alright. So that one's in there silent. And we're also going to put leg bolts. Because that's going to hold all the solar panels up onto the, the wall of the shed. So that's going to have to hold all the strength and pressure of all that. So, the other one's coming in next, and then we'll uh, be putting up the solar panels. All right, we got the second board up. Now we're going to attempt to put the frame up. This is not going to be easy, I'm sure. You all right? I think the ladders might be in the way. Um, wait a minute. Shoot, <laughs> I know the chipmunks are eating everything. We've got to swing in behind the ladders, but yet get... I've got to be on a ladder to do this, so how are we going to do this? Huh? Well, One of us is going to have to be on each ladder. So we've got to swing around behind the ladder. Let me see if I position this away from the wall a little. Can you split this thing? Yeah. Alright, let me see if I can swing this in behind. I'm going to have to readjust that screw. Ready? Yep. Can we squeeze it in here? There we go. 
Ready? Yeah. Um, things are in my way. Yeah, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna in a minute. I'm gonna go up on the ladders. Now, yeah, we gotta line it up to that board. All right. Now, let me get up. Let me get some screws. Here to here and mark that where that screw is going to go, okay? Yeah. 